What is going on YouTube? Hayden back making another brand new crypto TV episode. In today's video, we are going to be looking at XRP, Ethereum, Bitcoin, as well as the S&P 500. We're also, as you guys know, going to be looking at the CPI data, inflation data for September, which is ultimately going to gauge whether or not we see a pump or a dump in the market. And I did take a quick sneak peek. I waited till 8.30 a.m. before I made this video so that I could get a general uh, overview of what's about to happen to the markets here. And we just got inflation data for September and it is not good. It really is not good. Uh, as you as you guys remember, when we had the August inflation data, August actually brought us lower CPI, but overall yearly core inflation rose. So we had year to date inflation CPI fall to 8.3%. And then we had core inflation go from like 5.9 to like 6.3. Now we're having a worse issue, and we saw the reaction to the markets in September, or sorry, in August, and we're most likely going to have the same reaction in September. And the reason is because you can see here, um, CPI index, uh, core, like year over year, was right, or sorry, uh, core year over year inflation came out to 8.2%. So last year was 8.3%. This year is 8.2%, or sorry, this month is 8.2%. Uh, last month, 8.3%. This month, 82 We fall in 0.1%, which is fine. Not a big deal. The real issue and the problem is you can see the prior month, which was at 6.3% inflation for all. August, we now have 6.6% inflation for September, which means the second the stock market opens, the S&P 500, guess which direction we're going to be moving to? down and that's going to be a bad sign it's not good we are very close to oversold but i do expect to see us correct lower and i haven't already looked at the cryptocurrencies yet but because these markets are open earlier every day uh 24 7 they are most likely reacting to this 8 30 a.m news drop much quicker than the s p can but i can almost guarantee the s p is down and i can guarantee most of the cryptos are starting to break bearish let's see xrp we have our immediate dip right now we're starting to see the prices uh correct downwards you can see just in the past couple of minutes the price range has fallen f about 9.9 percent uh we could just do a quick refresh you'll see everything's down as of yesterday to today everything is starting to slide downwards down three percent but you can see bitcoin's down yep there we go three percent ethereum's down six xrp's down five everything is starting to slide so we're seeing this correction downwards here ethereum is getting nailed as you can see right now we have this beautiful symmetrical triangle hit or miss on direction and we are dropping like flies here to the downside as expected uh eight percent so on and so forth bitcoin is also falling so lots of information we have to go over uh guys definitely make sure to smash like button turn to post notifications subscribe and let's dive into today's video so guys uh inflation data is in this is the day we've been waiting for as you guys remember i made a video yesterday saying today is the day i don't know if all you guys saw it or some of you guys saw it but let me just pull it up you can see i said xrp XRP Ripple holders, this is our last chance, and everything pretty much came down to this point right here. Um, not only are we tied in with inflation, we were also tied in with a lot of resistances that we're pretty much all waiting for. It was interesting. Bitcoin specifically had days of consolidation. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine days of the sideways trading where we were retesting this major resistance and pretty much just getting rejected consistently. Bulls are trying to break us through, bears were holding us down, suppressing us, and obviously, we are retesting this major support level right here. We're currently retesting the bottom, like the lowest point we've been at about 18.3. But there's a very big chance that if we close a little bit lower here, just slightly down, we break through 18K, there's going to be a very big landslide to the downside, which is not something anybody wants to see. But uh, there's a good chance it's going to happen once uh, CPI, or sorry, once the S&P 500 opens. So keep that in mind. We're also going to see that slide with, excuse me, a lot of the other cryptocurrencies too. We are retesting bottom support. You can see we are retesting uh, oversold in the, on the other side. So that's definitely a good sign. But um, yeah, there's a good chance we are going to be, uh, you know, slipping a little bit lower very quickly. Now, the, what I really want to talk about, as you can see here, we said uh, last month we had 8.3% CPI year over year. Now we have 8.2% year over year. So month to month, we've only fallen 0.1%. Problem is with core CPI, we went from 6.3 to 6.6. We're up 0.3% here, which is not a good sign. That means whatever happened from last month to this month has gone up and that's causing, you know, most likely more fear that uh, the markets are going to be sliding lower and just more disappointment in our government. This is the chart that I wanted to show you. So I'm just going to refresh it really quick. You can see this pretty much covers all items of our CPI for urban consumers of the US city on average here. You can see this 
this is the unjusted 12 month ended at 8.2 percent here this is what really what i want to look at from last month to this month you can see we actually went up a little bit in regards to all items here 0.1 to 0.4 here not necessarily a good sign but you can see food has stayed the same we had uh food at home stayed the same everything staying the same uh what is it energy has slightly come down but i'm glad that we're still correcting a little bit lower here um we're not seeing much actually peak higher i don't see much peaking higher than before here uh everything seems to be going down or pretty much staying the same here but everything looks to be kind of okay you know medical care and things like that are falling shelter has stayed the same i guess what's really uh you know starting to increase from last month to this month is really uh transportation services and medical care services those are the two things that seem to be sliding up to the upside here. You can see uh, the food index increased 0.8% in September, the same increase as August. Uh, the food at home index rose 0.7% in September. All six major grocery store group uh, indexes increased. And the index for fruits and vegetables rose uh, so on and so forth energy decline so forth so on and so forth so yeah we are increasing but i guess it's at the same rate that we have over the past couple of months like we went from 0.8 to 0.8 so yes it's still an inflation increase here but i believe it's probably canceling out over time here from the last month to this month just because we're you know we're losing the last month and entering this new month here but regardless it doesn't seem we still are going downwards so things are still looking okay obviously inflation is still high until everything starts to slide lower but this is is ultimately affecting most everything here. I'm not sure the main reasons what uh, what fell and what rose in inflation. What why did inflation? Or we know why inflation fell. Everything stayed the same and fell a little bit lower. Core CPI went up because food and stuff like that was continuing to strike higher here. But otherwise, let's move on. Let's just jump into, where is it? The cryptocurrency markets here. You can see top 10 cryptocurrencies. We are starting to dump right now. It's the beginning. This is the time to short. I, I, I truly believe that I'm most likely going to be entering shorts come the next couple of minutes after I make this video here. Uh, we are retesting some very vital supports right now. We are retesting it right here. Uh, and there's a good chance that if we start to trend below here, pretty much close the daily today below here or just start to trade below here honestly there's a good chance we're going to be flipping to a short position every this is finally the volatility that we needed we are retest and we are becoming oversold so it's interesting it's very interesting the positions that we're looking for but there's a good chance we are going to slide lower on some of these cryptos you can already see ethereum starting to dump right now but once again it's hitting its bottom support so it's going to be interesting to see how much lower we want to pull down to like are we going to now start to correct downwards. I do believe this is a sign that we are going to start to correct downwards, but we're already oversold. So I'm not much short. I'm not sure how much lower we're going to want to move, but the clear rejection off Bitcoin right here off this major support is definitely not a good sign here. And there's a very big chance this is going to continue to, you know, slide us to the downside. It's really not looking good for everything. It's really not beneficial at all. Uh, the big worry is how we open today on the S&P 500. Don't know why I'm on the four hour. Let me just move to the daily. You can see we're basically at the low point right here this is the lowest point we've been to in the markets is in 2022 and it's kind of nerve-wracking here we're holding on for dear life right here you know things have been looking okay but now we're starting to slide even lower and honestly when we get the information out today there's a good chance we are going to be breaking through this and pulling downwards but i'm hoping it doesn't fall and bring us that low i mean even people were thinking that we would be moving uh cpi data to 8.1 percent now we're at 8.2 higher than what people were predicting which means we're going to have a negative reaction with these markets and we are going to see more reversal to the downside which sucks here but we'll see how low it actually brings us my only hope you know being biased is that we are coming into contact with the oversold charts so we are going to see another dip but hopefully it doesn't last long and hopefully we can come back up here but there's definitely no reversal going to happen right now and there's a chance we could slide down even lower which is not something we want to see happen here because if we pull all the way down to the yellow band on support here for the s p 500 we're going to see a very 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 very, you know, nasty drop. We're seeing 32%, which is terrible. A 32% drop. I mean, it's bringing us back down. It's interesting. We talked about this months ago. But the fact is, this was all inflation caused by the government. And now we're starting to see prices slide back down here. There's a chance we might see the bottom, you know, right here, which is not something we want to see happen. But there's a very big chance that this is going to be the low point in the market here. And then we'll start to rebound off. And it's going to be a couple years. It sucks. It really does suck, you know, because everybody could have waited to buy in at the lowest points here. Obviously, you can dollar cost average, which is the only thing now for people that have bought in. But, um, you know, this is all just terrible buying. And then 
the next time we'll be at prices like that is going to be, unfortunately, in like year 2025, which is going to suck. It's going to be another couple of years. I mean, we're ending 2022. Uh, so we'll have 23, 24 and 25, you know, the beginning or mid of 25. So it's going to be three years. But honestly, that's about average. But we are going to recover. The markets are going to swing back up. But honestly, the way things are being projected, this was not supposed to happen here. We're supposed to be trending inside this channel here, as you guys can clearly see. This is the typical movement. Why won't it let me swing out? Whatever. Uh, the typical movement is that we trade inside these supports here, inside this beautiful ascending fractal uh, in the white here. And the fact that we, you know, we're trending outside of it for the longest time means we're now going to be coming back down inside normal levels. So the fact that we're trading right here is not abnormal. It's you know, neutral. And we're now back on course. We're inside of it. So hopefully we can find a soft landing. The goal I'm hoping now that we find soft landing, you know, 32, 3300 points here and not all the way down to here, because that would be really detrimental. You know, let's we'll take 32 percent, but 39 percent is lower than the previous crash during the pandemic. So I mean, things are not looking good, but there's a good chance that we are going to see some low points in the markets here. And it's not going to be until maybe mid-2023 that we can finally start to recover. And by the end of 2023, we'll be okay. But it's going to be a couple couple months, and it's not going to be fun. It really is not going to be fun at all for crypto, for these markets here. But in regards to the way things are starting to trend out right now, you know, prepare yourself to be shorting. That's what I'm doing. I'm preparing myself to short these. I do strongly believe that we are going to be seeing lower drops in these markets here. But we are starting to hold up. So again, don't, you know, from... In my point of view and what I plan on doing, I'm not buying in for a short this very second. Obviously, you can. It's more aggressive. We'll probably put out something like that on Patreon. But conservatively, once again, just in the past couple of hours, we're starting to see these cryptos start to reverse up a little bit, specifically XRP. But what we're looking for is if we see Ethereum close us below here, or sorry, XRP close us below here at any point below 45 cents, let's say we close at 43, 44, expect to see a reversal downwards. Same thing with here. Shorts are going in if we close below these supports. Shorts go in if we close exactly where we are today. Bitcoin, good chance we'll put in another short uh, and so on and so forth. Obviously, we do all our trades on BitYard, the number one crypto cryptocurrency exchange that we like to use here on the channel. Uh, you know, you can leverage trade, buy, long, sell, short, create demo account, use a demo account, Monopoly money. You can even get some free crypto if you use the mystery box option after you sign up. And that's pretty much it. With that being said, make sure to smash the like button, turn on post notifications, subscribe, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Peace.